New leadership for the FDNY, the mayor's choice, the man thrust onto command in of the 9-11 rescue operation when his friend, the chief of department, was killed by falling debris. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story. Fire cadets were practicing their craft at the FDNY Fire Academy when Dan Nigro arrived to be named the agency's new commissioner. But that wasn't the only departure from normal City Hall personnel announcements. My father loved Dan. He loved him. Fire Lieutenant Chris Gansey selected to speak first, even before Mayor de Blasio made the official announcement. An emotional choice because Nigro had to assume immediate command of the 9-11 rescue operation after his boss and close friend, then Chief of Department Peter Gansey Jr., was killed by debris from the crumbling buildings as the two stood together. I remember thinking afterwards how proud my father would have been of you then. But I know for sure that today he'd be beaming with pride to see you achieve this monumentous achievement. Nigro choked up at Chris's words. It made his father a part of today. Uh, and we all know what that means to me. Nigro will inherit a number of challenges, including criticism about the department's response times to 9-11 calls, both the FDNY and EMS. Today, on average, in New York, when uh, somebody is in need of emergency medical service, the average response time is greater than nine minutes. In life-threatening situations, you don't have nine minutes. The incoming commissioner will also face the challenge of diversifying the FDNY, now mostly male and 90% white. The diversity issue is a great challenge, but it, it's a great challenge that I look forward to working together with many people on and to solving and to bringing this department into a very bright future. Well, Nigro suffered respiratory illness from working at Ground Zero and was awarded a disability pension when he retired in 2002 after 32 years on the job. He said he'll be giving up that pension to become commissioner. Dana? A new era now for the fire department. Indeed. Marcia, thank you.